We want to turn now to a decision by Oscar winner Robert De Niro that's got a lot of people talking. And Hoda joins us now to explain. Hi, Hoda. Hi, guys. As you guys know, De Niro is the co-founder of the Tribeca Film Festival. And just weeks before it opens, he's decided to pull a documentary linking vaccines to autism, a choice that De Niro says was deeply personal. The controversial documentary called Vaxxed, From Cover-Up to Catastrophe, asks in its trailer, are our children safe? My oldest son, Ian, was walking and running. After the vaccine, he was no longer able to do that. The trailer includes the suggestion that a whistleblower spoke out from the CDC, alleging the organization committed fraud and, quote, knew that vaccines were actually causing autism. So I called the clinic and I said, I think my child's had adverse reaction to those shots. And then came the head bang, the constant banging against anything that he could find. But over the weekend, Robert De Niro, a Tribeca Film Festival co-founder, announced he was pulling the film. De Niro, who has an autistic son, released a statement saying, my intent in screening this film was to provide an opportunity for conversation around an issue that is deeply personal to me and my family. But after reviewing it over the past few days with the Tribeca Film Festival team and others from the scientific community, we do not believe it contributes to or furthers the discussion I had hoped for. Wow. The CDC had known all along. After the announcement, the filmmakers fired back on their website saying in part, we have just witnessed yet another example of the power of corporate interests censoring free speech, art, and truth. Many of the critics point to the film's director and co-writer, Andrew Wakefield, who also appears in the film. They sliced and diced the data in an effort to get rid of that effect. A known anti-vaccination activist and one-time gastroenterologist had his medical license revoked by Britain's General Medical Council back in 2010 and is an author of a widely discounted study that was later retracted. Findings he has said have been widely mischaracterized and stands behind. Thousands debated the decision on the film's Facebook page. Can't there at least be a discussion about the topic, one person asked? Another adding, conspiracy-based films have no place in a film festival unless they are labeled science fiction. And the festival says it doesn't seek to avoid or shy away from controversy, but there were, quote, concerns with certain things in this film that we feel prevent us from presenting it in the festival program. Since the announcement, a petition has been made on change.org to bring the film back to Tribeca. And again, there have been study after study that have shown that what this doctor is saying is not true. So, Dr. Wakefield is an extremely controversial figure in this debate. Absolutely. It's a hot button issue mm -hmm. with a lot of consequences as well. Mm -hmm. Hoda, thank you very Thanks, much. Guys.